inner wolf and the muskox. Yeah. It's the name. It's the name of the, the inner wolf. And actually, it's pretty smart because it's the same word that you use for that material in Alaska and Canada. So by the time I started this company, yep. um, I'm not sure I realized that we would have so many customers from abroad, and it's rather difficult to pronounce the company yeah. name, so I didn't make it easy for, yeah, <laughs> for not, my customers. Not even easy for me, no. It's <laughs> not even easy for you. <laughs> no, it's hard to, yeah. it's hard to pronounce. So, so we, yeah. in, in this business here, um, we have two lines of production. Mm -hmm. One of them is our seal skin production and the other one is our muskox and wool production. And um, I started this company here nine years ago. Um, I moved to Sisimi uh, from Gangapuswa, where the international airport is. Yeah, yeah. And I spent 10 years there before moving here. Mm -hmm. um, and. Um, I, I uh, was the owner and uh, manager of the tourist business in Gangster. Mm -hmm. But slowly in my spare time, if you can talk about spare time in the tourist business, yep. I actually started working on the Moscow uh, skin. Because at the beginning of the, the hunting of the Moscow's, uh, those skin were just thrown out. Really? Yeah, so the such a waste. Just didn't really know yeah. what to do with about them. the value yeah. of it. Because you know the muskox has not been living on the west coast of Greenland mm -hmm. from nature. They yeah. were they were put out here many years ago, actually exactly in '67. So the hunters had to learn everything about that particular animal. And they didn't know what to do with the, yeah. with the height, so um, we managed to, you know, teach them that there's a big value in of the in skin the as skin. well. Yeah. And then I just made this to my business instead of just a hobby. Mm -hmm. It's good to you know <laughs> do do whatever you like and do yeah, what you exactly. what you love. So. Then it doesn't really matter if you're working all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so starting it's quite hard. And then actually you have grown your own child actually, yeah? Yeah. What you do it now? Right now I'm preparing uh, the skin for the mittens. The skin okay. mittens. This is a soul skin vest. And one of the ladies are working on. <laughs> but um, beside this. Um, so this is a wolf. Uh, fox, sorry. This is a fox. Yes. <laughs> beside the shop here in Simiut, we have a rather big shop in Nuuk, mm -hmm. the center of Nuuk. Uh, but everything is produced here sure. for both. Shops, so we are always busy here in, mm -hmm. in Sisimiut. Um, during the high season, uh, which is July, August, and September here in Sisimiut, we have a lot of cruise ships coming in, and of course, that makes us busy in the store here. But rather than that, um, or should I say the rest of the year here in Sisimut are basically busy in the production mm -hmm. and uh, the big sales sale are, is a nuke the rest of the year It's actually capital, the biggest city in, in Greenland yes. so yeah This here is the second biggest yep. uh, I think right now we are 10 people the company mm -hmm. and then in the summertime we are a few more but it's getting more and more difficult to get our raw material yeah that's what was uh, that is my another question yes. <laughs> from where you're getting the, uh, like your <laughs> material or from well all the muskox skin we buy from the hunters mm -hmm. during the winter hunt from the yeah. professional hunters and we can only use the skin from the winter time. Oh, yeah. yeah. 
in it's the better. summer and in, in spring and fall they don't carry tribute uh, enough. That's it. So in Gantle Sock or Sunderstrom where the international airport is, we have a workshop there mm -hmm. and um, we prepare all the skins, okay. remove all the wool yeah. in there. Um, yeah, and now we have another challenge that it's getting really difficult to get seal skin good enough for our production. Mm. Um, for a couple of years, um, the National Tannery Company in South Greenland, Great Greenland, they made a stra strategy on selling basically all the good skin on auctions in Denmark. In uh. So it's and, not that good for you. Well, um, it has been okay, except for the ridiculous fact that Great Greenland is transporting all the skins to Denmark. I go and buy them and I transport them back to Greenland. Okay, that so it's <laughs> sense in my no, head, they they should first they can put on the auction. They can sell it online and then like I send it to the customer who exactly. bought them. But they made this stupid cooperation with Copenhagen Fur. Mm. And it's cost the Greenlandic uh, citizens huge amount amount of money. Because Great Greenland is uh, supported by the Greenlandic government. Yep. Uh, but we are trying to change it because in my head, well, I'm very intimidated by knowing that we are using uh, 20 million Danish kroner every year so that a rich uh, Chinese lady can wear a silkskin coat in China. It doesn't make sense when we need the, the silkskins up here. Yeah. So we're trying to, to see if we can change that. But right now the situation is that the past two auctions in Copenhagen, the prices on silkskin has reads through the, 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 the they are very roof, high yeah. and it's mainly Chinese people buying and the hunters here are not you know selling enough skin for great women right now oh they so don't want to they, sell it they are low on, on skin so that's another challenge yeah so you want to produce but you don't have material so exactly of course it has an influence on the price level mm -hmm. but i mean it's always like that there's only one to pay the bill but but even just getting seal skin enough is a problem and it shouldn't be a problem in greenland yeah it's not. actually the problem up here is right now that we have too many seals too many yeah they are eating all the fish And too many seals, you can not hunt them, and yeah, <laughs> you don't you have. Can hunt them. But if the, the hunter doesn't get a proper price for the skin, then it's not worth the work. Okay. So. But they are still hunting for uh, for meat, so. Yeah, yeah, we are eating. Them. So. Tastes really great. <coughs> But our Mustox yarn has been more or less sold out even since July or summer. So it's really difficult to, to keep up with the, with the requests. So do you have many customers? We have many customers. Besides those two shops, we also have our web shop. And we are sending all over the world. So. so, which country, for example, are from which country people are buying your products? Oh, they're buying from all over. I think last time I got that question, I checked. Yeah. And by, by that time, that's probably a few months ago. Within a month, we, we shipped to 17 different countries. Okay. But it's still mainly, <coughs> sorry, it's still mainly Denmark. Denmark. 
Ang hulo. Ang maging guli na. Take that. 